Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 15th of August. I'm going to give you the key strands to look out for, but please stay with me. I will then dive deep to share with you each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces in greater detail. Now this is a week when Mars is very much at the center of the celestial story. And this is because he is going to be moving into a new home on Saturday. But Mars usually takes 45 days or six weeks to transit through each zodiac sign. But when it moves into Gemini on Saturday, it's going to be there for seven months and six days. So a really extended uh, period of time. This is because every two years, Mars goes into a retrograde. Last time, it was in the sign it governs of Aries. This time, Gemini, very much about we, how we interact, particularly in terms of our communication, can bring more drama, can also push us to get a bit fitter and more active in the months to come. However, this week does begin with a rather limiting opposition between the Sun and Saturn. Perhaps there's a relationship issue that does need very carefully considering. But Mars is going to be squaring up with the Sun this week and also embracing the quarter moon in Taurus on Friday. And that's saying to us not to be, in too, not to be too impulsive when it comes to our romantic situation. Funnily enough, Venus, also in the glamorous Leo, along with the Sun, is forging a beautiful link with Jupiter, the planet of fortune. Now, maybe it is the case that with Jupiter going backwards, we could be feeling a little bit less optimistic, but these two planets are known as the greater and lesser benefits. So the two planets of fortune. So something positive can still come through at the heart of this week. But it is true that Mercury in its home zone of Virgo does go into an opposition with Neptune later this week. So if we are planning anything that requires some precision, we really need to concentrate. But if there is something we want to work towards that's much more tangible, the angle between Mars and Pluto before it moves into Gemini is actually very, very good for worldly stuff as long as we use the passion and power of that combination in the right kind of way. So we're not trying to just get what we need from a situation, but if we work in a productive way and very systematic and step by step, the passion and the willpower of that combination can really bring some results. But later in the week, yes, we have that uh, uh, transition of Mars into Gemini. Now, if you'd like to check out my deep dive video, please see the link beneath this video. But also on Saturday, Mercury enters its shadow period. It won't go into retrograde in the sign of Libra until the 9th of September. But it is going to next week uh, move into the sign of Libra, it's in Virgo at the moment. So just be aware that when it comes to those communications, the need for clarity is vital, but the passion of Mars moving into Gemini will certainly give us all a little bit more uh, capacity to articulate our, our ideas or ventilate uh, our ideas in a positive way. And please stay with me now for each of your 12 zodiac signs. If you would like to embrace more serious astrology, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data, of time, date and place of birth, I can give you a roadmap that can guide you for the rest of your life. Also, my special package of 30% off. If you order now, I'll give you your year 2023 personal forecast plus the rest of this year three. Please see the link beneath this video. And finally, I've raced through the 101,000 subs mark. I'd be so grateful if you've yet to subscribe if you did so now. 
If you have already, thank you so much for your support, but please click or tap on the bell notification symbol if you've yet to do so. So Aries, your week commencing the 15th of August forecast puts your ruling planet very much at the center of proceedings. Now for you in house two, initially, that's very much about our desire to enjoy the good things in life. That can be uh, intimacy, it can be nice food, it could be that we want to be more motivated to improve our financial situation. Now, we're all facing some quite big financial headwinds, but your determination to overcome those this week can be really strong, and Mars's link to Pluto could see you reach out for a role or try to expand an existing one in a way which could end up being very profitable if you plan your strategy right. Because one of the things you need to avoid this week, I think, is being too hasty. Because of Mars's right angle to the sun and also embracing the quarter moon, just being a little bit too quick to make some judgments may not be the best approach. Yet, it can't be denied that Jupiter in your sign is forging that amazing link with Venus in the sign of Leo. That could be very good for your love life if that's an area that's important to you or if you want to mix and mingle. But I think the quarter moon and Mars's angle to the sun is just saying don't be too free and easy with your resources. But Mars moving into your third house is really exciting. If you wanted to learn a course, if you wanted to share your ideas, if you're thinking about a new mode of transport or a new vehicle, then the next seven months can be really exciting for you. Now, it's also true to say, of course, that Mercury does go into shadow and initially it is in house six. Perhaps its opposition with Neptune towards the end of this week just tells you a little bit of a hint of what you can expect in October and November when Mars is going to be squaring Neptune. Just be aware of those people in your situation who may not necessarily have your best interests at heart. It doesn't mean to say that they're darn right spiteful, but there may be some people around you who are a little bit draining or underwhelming and, and perhaps uh, this is a time for you to really be thinking about the type of people that energetically you can connect to, perhaps you're your ideas that actually lift you the most. So watch out for those bright-minded types. Mm -hmm.